Steph from stephaniejenkins.com and cheapskatecook.com. Today I'm going to take you to Costco with me. Although, you can see I actually have already gone to Costco. I'm filming this after I went to Costco. But I'm going to take you with me and we're going to go aisle by aisle. And I'm going to show you exactly what we buy. My family of five and I are uh, currently eating real food, lots of organic meat and clean ingredients and some other organics, whole food, that kind of thing, on less than the thrifty food plan for our like cost of living in our area. This is very much a this is what works for me in the season that we are in kind of thing. There are a ton of different ways that you can make shopping at Costco super frugal, there are some things that we do and there are some things that we don't do. I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing today. All right, here we go. I got my list on my phone and we're gonna try to do Costco without going over budget, without getting distracted by all the school books. Okay, first of all, these are the vitamins that my kids use. This is supposed to be eco-friendly and hypoallergenic laundry detergent. It is scented, but it doesn't bother anyone in our house. walking by all the frozen meals that aren't in the budget. Like every good Costco member, we buy most of our paper products here. Problem is fitting them all in the cart. I love walking by all of these dips and I always tell myself I'm gonna try one and I never do. See, looking at the ingredients, tempted, so tempted, but I always end up putting it back. I am, however, gonna get this avocado. Avocados lately have been really hit or miss and I've wasted a lot of money on avocados that just never ripen properly. So I'm gonna try these. Looking at another thing that I might get, but I end up putting back. This would be a nice treat, but the reality is we don't really need it. It's not on the list, so it's gonna have to stay here. But because I said no to those things, I can say yes to things like organic chicken. It's not about just saying no all the time. It's about deciding what I actually really want to spend my money on. Side note, when I was growing up, my family always got a batch of these muffins when we went to Costco, so they are super nostalgic to me. Now we get to the part where I put a couple of things back because I splurged in other areas and I realized I really wanted to try the Kerrygold butter instead of getting the plantain chips this time. I spent a long time looking at these delicious looking bars at the end, but I ultimately decided I didn't really need them and there were other things that I wanted to spend our money on this month. Honestly, in this whole trip, there was a lot that I normally get at Costco that I didn't get this time, like their frozen fruit, things like that. But I have another Costco grocery haul video that shares more of those things. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. 
I'm gonna head home and put all the groceries away. Thank you for watching. I'm Steph from stephaniejenkins.com and cheapskatecook.com. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more ways to save money and eat healthy.